Question 1. Find the number of lines of symmetry in each of the following shapes. How will you check your answers? So following other figures, we have to find the lines of symmetry. We will check with the help of mirror. We will place mirror vertically along the line of symmetry and we will see the reflection. So let's see for the first part. We will place this mirror on the line of symmetry where we will make the line of symmetry and we will visualize the other part on the mirror. If the pattern is received as same as the figure, we will say it is the line of symmetry. So first of all, we will place our mirror here like this vertical and we will be able to see this portion on the mirror of the original portion. This is the original portion and we will be able to see it on the mirror like this. So we can say that the figure is symmetric. You can do it sidewise on the paper with the help of a plane mirror. The one you use to see your face. Second line is this. You will be able to get the figure again with the same thing. Another line of symmetry is this. So line of symmetry is nothing, just that plane or that position of the figure where if you will place your mirror, you will be able to get the other portion back without damaging the actual figure. So we have one, two, three, four line of symmetry for A part. Similarly, this tree looking figure has only one symmetry that is like this. If you place your tree like this as shown in the figure, you will be able to get the other part of the picture like this in this mirror without changing the actual look. So C part. Here we have two line of symmetry for an instance. This was the cube. It has been cut from the between. This is the remaining portion. And if you place or if you attach mirror to it, plain mirror to it, then you will be able to get the original figure back as you can see here. Same is happening with C. If you place mirror here, will be able to look the other portion of this figure on the mirror. Similarly, if you we'll place mirror on this line as well, you will be able to get. So there are two line of symmetries. Now D part, it has also two line of symmetries. This one, horizontal one and vertical one. You will be able to get the other part of the figure on the mirror if you place on these two lines. So this is all about line of symmetry, nothing else. You have to just find the place where the mirror should be placed in order to get the other part of the picture without damaging the actual picture look. So if you place your mirror on this, you'll be able to see rest of this insect. F part. So again, it has two line of symmetries, one and two. So this is how you can do practically check your answers with the help of mirror as we have shown in this question. So this was your A part. Second, copy the following drawing on squared paper. Complete each one of them such that the resulting figure has two dotted lines. Remember, two dotted lines. It has given two dotted lines as two lines of symmetry. So where are these lines? If you take A part, this is the actual figure and this is vertical line of symmetry and this is horizontal. Alright, similarly you can see in this picture horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical and rest follows. So let's do A part. This is the figure we have to make it in both the line of symmetries. So let's first make with horizontal one. So it is three distance apart, three units apart. So we will go three distance apart in the opposite direction. So we will start here and join the other picture. So let's do it. We have done it on this horizontal line of symmetry. But now the figure is this. This is your new figure. Keeping this in mind, we will make it vertically flip. Okay, so this is one, two, three units apart. We will take three units apart and attach it to this portion. So in this way, you make your patterns. And that is why this line of symmetries are helpful. This is whole logic behind studying lines of symmetry. So that was your A part. 
now the pattern is this we will trace it first horizontally so it is one diagonal we will make one diagonal away from the mirror okay or away from this line of symmetry line of symmetry and mirror take it as one thing it is just the position where you have to place your mirror now it is going away one unit apart we are going away it is coming horizontally we will go horizontally we are just tracing it then it is going away from the mirror diagonally we will go diagonally now this is your new look now we have to make it on the vertical line of symmetry so at first one diagonal we will go one diagonal then it has one away from this vertical line of symmetry or vertical mirror one away then it is going up we will go up then it is going away you can see here away from this mirror we will go away from this mirror as well now it is coming diagonally towards this vertical mirror or vertical line, line of symmetry we'll come closer it goes straight upward vertical we'll go upward now it comes closer horizontally to the mirror so we will try it now it goes vertical and touches the mirror we will touch it diagonally so that makes your beautiful pattern by using the line of symmetry concept so that was your b part in this way we will do c part first trace it horizontally so one away from the mirror let's go one away from the mirror now horizontally it is moving we will move horizontally it is moving one away one unit away we will move one unit away again it traces horizontally in the left hand side we will go to the left hand side one unit so this is a square paper in square paper one unit is one unit now our paper is limited here we will extend it because the distance remains the same now it is coming towards the mirror this mirror goes to infinity you can imagine it it goes to infinity infinity means which has no end okay we have completed this now we will flip it vertical towards the vertical line of symmetry so it goes one away from the mirror we will go one away from the mirror it goes vertical downwards towards south direction it goes towards east direction that is away from the mirror then it goes again to the south direction okay then it comes towards west direction that is towards mirror then it goes south again and it goes east again if on the other side it is going west you have to go towards east okay this is the concept behind it you have to just copy it and it is going straight away two units and it goes one unit towards mirror or you can say west direction then downwards towards south then it goes away towards east on that side it was going west in this side we will go east now downwards now again coming towards mirror and downwards and then attaching to the mirror okay this is your infinity line that you have to consider as your line of symmetry vertical line of symmetry so this is your beautiful picture again now let's do for d part in this figure you just have to keep one thing in mind it is going to we will go to we will not make this diagonal because if we get the last point we can easily attach diagonals that will be easiest way of doing it so let's first of all find this thing now the diagonal is very easy you have to just attach these two points because two points are needed to make a line it will be perfectly oriented in this manner now doing it vertical line of symmetry one unit as it was one unit now we will again not make diagonal we will go for this straight line for this vertical line it is three units apart we'll go three units it goes straight up towards north direction now we will be able to make diagonals very easily rather than making it initially so in this way we are able to make it beautiful so p part again using the same thing moving one unit southwards then towards mirror one unit 
then two units towards south as it is moving two units towards north okay for north you have to move south as you were moving east to west now it is diagonally towards coming towards the mirror so we will go diagonally diagonal is nothing just attaching two opposite vertex then doing the same stuff here it was moving towards east here we move towards west then two down then towards one unit mirror towards mirror one unit then finally attaching to the mirror so this is a e bar it is very interesting to make these figures using these square paper again you have to go diagonally one step now one step up at last it is very easy to get towards this diagonal you just have to attach the final two points so in this way you complete your pictures with the help of what with the help of the concept of plane of symmetry or line of symmetries in the upwards also you will make it because you have to make in both directions or in both lines of symmetry now we are making in horizontal line of symmetry earlier we made for vertical line of symmetry again same thing one down so we will go one up you've gone now it's diagonal coming towards mirror we will come towards mirror in the opposite direction now now here we are coming towards mirror so we will come towards mirror two diagonal two diagonals again two diagonals so that completes your figure try to make more of them so that was your completing the picture with the help of line of symmetries so we check the distances and with the help of we were able to make it third in each figure alongside this is the figure a letter of the alphabet is shown along with a vertical line like a and b the vertical line of symmetry we are using vertical line of symmetry not horizontal take the mirror image of the letter in the given line find which letter look the same after reflection that is which letter look the same in the image and which do not can you guess why well yes as you can see for a we are able to view the same image on the mirror why because a letter has vertical line of symmetry so that was the answer for you can you guess why because it has vertical line of symmetry it will not be able to get the same picture if you have vertical line of symmetry now b does not have vertical line of symmetry it has horizontal line of symmetry therefore you are not able to make this back on this mirror now let's check for the rest of them using the vertical line we are asked to find particularly the vertical line so o o is clearly visible as we have studied earlier it has both vertical and horizontal e we are not able to get it as we have in ambulance also ambulance sign is also inverted okay now m we are able to get it it has vertical line of symmetry n doesn't look like the n it was earlier so false here blue is your original and this maroon is your image for h we have vertical line of symmetry therefore it resemble like same okay these are the color combinations for image as well as for objects and remember the distances are same you also have to look that like here distance was large here distance is less for t you have vertical line of symmetry as we don't have we get inverted image we does make it has x also has vertical line of symmetry so that is how you check your vertical line of symmetry for the alphabets or any image for that matter that was the last question question number 3